November is fast approaching. It's 30th October, and we are here to bring you all the entertainment updates right here on Breaking Bites on the nation's favorite lifestyle channel, 3 Music TV. My name is now Koshilamte, and I'm doing this with my <laughs> runaway boyfriend, I my partner in crime that has been away <laughs> for so long. Guys, uh, I don't understand why he has uh -huh. been away for all this while. So I'm going to give him the honors you guys to tell not gonna us say anything, why right? <laughs> and where he has been. All I can just say is, of course, my name is Terry Tastic, and I'm back in Microwave City. Of course, you know how it is. This mm. place is hot, but well, <laughs> it is I'll what it is. I pretend I didn't yes, hear that. It's, yeah, it's, it's the Inferno Paradise. That's what I call it. It's, it's still fun. It's still exciting. I love the sun, so yeah, that's what it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to keep your eyes peeled. Let's check out what's popping on the streets of Ghana and, of course, across the globe. And the very first story, well, the Ghana film industry is making waves and, of course, history. Now, The Fisherman is the first Ghanaian film to be shown shown at the Venice International Film Festival. Yep, that's super exciting. We're looking forward to that. Now produced by Kofi owusu Ifriye of Lou Vision Media and directed by Zoe Martinson. Now it tells a story of, you know, something inspired by the life in the Ghanaian fishing community. And that's absolutely fascinating to know. Now the film won the Fellini Medal from UNESCO for promoting peace and tolerance as well. Now it was entirely filmed in Ghana with a talented hot cast from both Ghana and Nigeria. Nigeria. Oh yeah, that, you know our <laughs> brothers and sisters, we're always holding it down with them and for them as well. Now the film is praised for its quality in cinematography, costumes, and of course production as well. And that's the reason it's getting its due right now. Now the team is seeking distribution. And of course, uh, further updates are available on their Instagram at the film festival or no, at the Fisherman film instead. Yeah, so just go check them out and of course get some more deets on that story but kudos to them yeah i was so glad when i saw the lineup of cast as well as the crew because i'm familiar with quite a number of them from william lamte mm -hmm. he's also so good at stage plays got he's got her last name <laughs> that's the reason <laughs> that's not the reason that's not the reason i mean william is so good probably a job. brother you never knew yeah i was talking to him before and oh it happens that we are from the same family house. So. Same clan. Yes. Same clan it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Kiki, Kiki Romi is also in GH Media. Mm -hmm. He was actually part of the lecturers that taught me oh. in school. Yeah. Okay. And okay. I also saw I also saw Gifty Gifty Mawena in there. I was so shocked you when were I saw like, her ah. because yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> she's she's of my age. Mm -hmm. And to see that she is doing she's big born things. like yeah. this, I'm super proud of hair. Yeah, she's right. super ecstatic and of course words can't even describe her feeling right now. We're super <laughs> excited for you too and we're hoping right. that more and more Ghanaian movies will be featured of course at the Venice International Film Festival year after year. Right, now let's talk about our last story for today. Mm -hmm. Tiwa Savage has mm -hmm. opened up on motherhood. Mm -hmm. Now in an interview with BBN Nigel Tacha, she spoke about how her mother has played a pivotal role in raising her only son who is nine years old. This is Jamil. Take a look at this video. I don't really think our role as mothers end even when they become teenagers because I look at my mom, you know, and she's still mothers me at this age. You she's still, you know, calling me, have you eaten? Please drink lots of water, make sure you rest. And she's still worried if she sees stuff online, she'll still be like worried about me, even though I'm at this big age. So I don't think our jobs as mothers will ever end. So for me, I just had to get used to, you know, and I think as women, we can juggle a lot of things at the same time. I think that's our <laughs> More superpower. More to tax it. <laughs> yes, that's our superpower. Like, I can literally be a full-time mom and be a, a career, yes, and be a full-time career woman at the same time. <laughs> so what do you think about this? Because Tiwa is a single mom. And you know. to, to know that her mom is also behind the scenes taking care of her like a baby is really a big deal. Because Jamil is 
her only child. Of course. Yeah. And, and for me, that, that is superb because it, it tells you the power of multitasking that women actually right. have all across the globe. It's one thing that is inherent in them and it's ingrained or emblazoned inside of their DNA and I'm actually super excited for that. Yeah. But one thing I respect women for is the fact that uh, in as much as they have their own you know, responsibilities and obligations to fulfill, they're still a part of the world and they make sure that they're part of that striving force yeah. to push generations and the world forward. And of course, that's one thing that humanity should actually look out for and that's the reason I'm always saluting women out there and it's even a very great thing that we have International Women's Day now and Mother's Day as well so yeah. it's, 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 it's fantastic I like the fact that she is actually coming clean about it and telling us of course it's not always a rosy you know uh, yeah. road or bet to be on so it's, it's actually something that I think other women or aspiring mothers should also look into and also you yeah, know take looking, inspiration from right looking at the fact that she has a very big big name mm -hmm. in the music industry and to know that even aside her having his a son mm -hmm. she's not absent in her son's life mm -hmm. she makes sure that whatever her child needs mm -hmm. she brings it to the table and she's Absolutely. able to juggle that with her career seamlessly as well. on that note we are coming to the end of this fabulous show that we call breaking bites i call it double d and of course we are the cool kids club my name is sarah tastic and my name is now cushy lamte do well to subscribe to our youtube if you haven't done that also go ahead and follow us on all our social media platforms and remember that breaking bites comes your way each and every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. with and a repeat, repeat broadcast, broadcast at 9 p.m. So always make sure you keep a lock and catch us on that channel we call 3 Music, where lifestyle and everything that is bombastic just happens right there. On that note, this is where we just salute and bow out of the show. Draw the curtains because it's getting late and of course some people need their beauty sleep like herself. Enjoy your evening. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>